You can just go die, I don't care about you anymore. Enough of the freaking arrows. Okay, still don't think I can walk on these. Okay, and this came back. I hope no one pulls that lever while I'm walking on here. Looking out for patches or something. It would be kind of funny if there was like a phantom that could do that. it about oh is it like do i have to hunt for oh i didn't notice this one do i have to hunt for little these things oh shit oh double shit how about no just sincerely no we're not gonna deal with that guy on those those walkways Oh shit, oh god. Uh, well, at least doesn't kill me anymore. Can he follow me up here, I wonder? Yes, he can. Dark armor, sounds interesting. Drat. This is suspicious as hell. Destructive. Now that is something that I want my weapons to do, destroy stuff. So great. Alright, did the fat guy fall down the lava? Because I still want to continue along that that one way. Okay, let's see if I can... Yep. And after that, shall I go up the ladders then? Alright, I get it. Oh, it's a fog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, not really feeling like going into this fog door right now, but... Oh, no. And it's not a boss. It's just some grey ghosty. Although it's not the same place that the other fog door is, so maybe, maybe I'll find that fog door, like, right here. There's something going on in there, but I choose to escape. Also, this reminds me of Hexon. This is just plain unfair. Come on, get up, you stupid idiot.
Is it going up? No, I don't think it is. I think it's a testament to my character's tankiness that I survived that ambush though. This looks like a fucking guillotine then. Alright. Oh, I'm running out of Estesis again. That's never happened before. And this looks like a trap if I ever saw one. Should I try and go for the item? Feels like I should be able to stand it here. Yep. No, 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 no. Why? Unfair. Once again, I didn't even see what I got. Damn, I, I really want to get these souls back. Hmm. Well, I should be close to there. If I start from the bonf... Oh, no, fuck. The bonfire is going to send me back through the Belfry Luna. Dang, I need to go around then. And by Luna, I mean soul, of course, but still. I need to go around. Maybe I'll go into the first fog door now. It could lead to the same place, but from the different direction. What are these? Oh. Hmm. No, not gonna do that. Seems like it would be another fight. This was the guy that didn't die in one hit last time, let's see. No, it's just random I guess, maybe it depends on where exactly I hit them or something. Man, I kept forgetting that I pulling my shield up it's not instantaneous, you know? Hmm, probably wasted that Estus, but whatever, let's go to the fog door now. And I'm gonna bother with the archers and stuff. No. Well, at least I don't have to worry about those souls now, but still, that was a bit bullshit. I don't know why I think certain things are bullshit when they are honestly kind of fair. But still. Sometimes it just doesn't feel like death is my fault, you know. All right, back here, not in the best condition, but whatever. Let's see where this leads. Sure! Why not give me a boss in this place? Dang it. Okay, doesn't explode every time. Nice to know. That sounds bad. Feels like I'm going to be burned if I approach him right now. Maybe let's wait until he puts himself out. Or does he ever put himself out now? Yeah, I can see my health slowly getting, like, slowly going away when I'm near him. Whatever, I can deal with that. What is he doing? Is his sword is going to be on fire now? Yep. Damn. He's got some tricks. My shield aren't the best, ain't the best. 
against fire, so this is going to be a bit of trouble now. Shit. Drink faster, Polky. And I'm out of Estus. Wonderful. Well, ah, this is not the best thing to happen because I am near uh, the end of the recording and I don't really feel like fighting this guy over and over again. But maybe if I come to him with all my estuses I have a chance. Don't want to waste my fire boom. oh yeah, fire bombs, uh, life gems. Maybe I should also get my health back. Alright, be right back. And... Uh, Another cut, but I'm here back human and I took this shield, the Gurm shield, because it has 100% fire reduction. That should prove useful against this guy. I hope. He looks kinda goofy, his head is way too big. Okay, this asks for a heal. Right off the bat. I feel like suddenly his defense got way higher. Oh no, he didn't. It was just maybe while he was in the animation. Well, at least I can get a few hits in still. Now let's see. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Fuck you and your fire bullshit. My shield absorbs it all. Run, you fucking moron, run. Oh no, oh no. Get up, drink. Yes. Oh, come on, get off. I don't want to see your groin. No, no, no. Please! Drink faster, Pokey! Ah! I really should not have died there. Come on! Ah, this is... This update is slightly infuriating. And I don't know whose fault it is, because I don't feel like I'm playing worse than usual. I don't feel like the game is more difficult than usual. So what the hell is going on? Maybe I am playing worse than usual, maybe I got so used to being safe, I guess, against even bosses, some of the bosses, that I didn't really, wasn't really as careful as I should have been. But at least it proves that I can kill this guy very easily. One last try should be enough. The worst part is that room with the archers, for some reason it didn't really give me didn't really give me trouble before. Well, what's with the fucking damage? Sometimes. Didn't really give me trouble the first time, interestingly enough, but all these subsequent times where I have to run through it, I get my ass shot quite a bit. Maybe because I don't feel like being slow and careful anymore. Oh, fuck you. 
I'm just gonna rely on my ring of restoration here. The layout of this place is really terrible all around. Like that part with the belfry bonfire that you cannot get back from. And this here I cannot get to the other side any other way. I cannot go through the furnace room in that direction. It's just so cumbersome, I don't know. I mean, I, I, it totally makes sense to make the layout not quite as easy and free for you to navigate and get anywhere from anywhere, but at least you could make some effort to make the layout make sense, I guess when uh, I cannot get somewhere, it should really look from I don't know, from everywhere, from every direction it should look like it's very obvious I would not be able to get there and here it relies on just a random lack of a staircase or a random ledge that you really don't see coming that just completely prevents your progress and that is stupid Maybe I should waste my essence right now. Okay, try number three. I hope the final try. Alright, I guess I should take these animations as chances to refill my stamina and stuff instead. Yep, and health. How nice of them all to jump back each time like this. Sometimes it means that just I can get a chance to get my stamina back. This is annoying. Topping off my health. I can afford to. Like, why is there this stupid pause when I try to run away? Why does my character stand for a second before running? It's those kinds of things that are completely unnecessary, but supremely annoying. Okay, I should wait for a safe moment before drinking. I wonder why do all the explosions scream in these games? Whoa! Oh wow, this is even stupider than before. And I, I felt the slip up coming, you know, I, I got greedy and I wanted to land the third hit, but I didn't really see what was even going on. And then he hit me, and then he hit me again, and then I probably would have died from the proximity fire anyway. Oh well, see you back there. I will not make you watch this entire way again. Ah, I think I'm just in a bad mood today for some reason, I don't know. This is really random for me, like I don't usually feel that I'm in a bad mood, but everything just infuriates me more than usual in these days.
almost feel like for this fight I should have instead of the catering I should have all right maybe I have a chance all right this could help You do your thing. That is the worst attack, or should I say, probably the one bad attack, really. Okay, no, this would be a stupid opening. You know, in the end I still think I should not be getting mad at this game, because it does test my tactical abilities. Some of these openings, when I try to go in there, so to speak, and attack him, sometimes it just right off the bat it feels like that I should not have done that. If I, have, I get, get an attack in successfully, uh, still in some of those cases, like it creates a situation afterwards that would be difficult to escape and survive. And you should be able to see and, I don't know, see these situations coming. So go only for openings that are survivable or something. And just behave rationally and reasonably. But I guess maybe when I was overleveled, it spoiled me. And now I rush into danger like an idiot. Alright, I don't know how much time I have left, but I kind of want at least look back to maybe that place where I died and lost my 200,000 souls. Whoa, there's a lot of souls for me. Um, so that I can close off this part of the map. But something tells me it's not going to happen, because you don't just have a boss that you can skip and walk around like that. And yeah, so the bonfire. Also, Ipoket told me that I missed, well, even told me, managed to tell me right when I was recording. I missed something back, back in Earthly Peak. So maybe if this, wasn't there a door that only opened one way around here? Ah, yes, so it does look back here, nice. So this boss is just for this bonfire then? Well, and for the souls. So you know what, I'm gonna continue next time, I have that second fog door to go into and up the stair up the ladders I mean um, for now I will go level up and then check out the platform that Hippocat told me about where I jumped into the water and died but then apparently I didn't there was a platform that I didn't check out that I was jumping to hmm. let's see if I put it all into strength will it up my damage at least a little bit well it does a little bit but it's not like that's good enough for me I'm picky now. Who was that guy that I could buy unlimited? Was it Macduff? I think it was Macduff that I could buy unlimited super things from. Also, I'm gonna keep this shield for a while because it seems like... I think you can get from there. It seems like uh, protection from fire would be nice in that place. It's too bad I cannot just use it as a sled and slide on it, on that lava. Alright, so it was before the... yeah, before here. I think this will conclude my today's update. It was a very... Right, although I kind of want to go and kill some people, the red phantoms back in Iron Keep, but I'll probably... I don't know. Maybe next time I'll start with it. So yeah, it was right here somewhere. Let me see then. Those guys can go suck themselves.
So apparently, yeah, this platform, it doesn't connect to the lower part, so I should try to jump to it. But I think I need a slightly different di direction. Oop. I would... I would... I don't know how to describe, but the angle should be slightly more perpendicular to the wall, like so. Maybe this will work, I don't know. Ooh, probably not. Yep. Well, at least it's not far. I'm gonna try a couple more times. I hope those two lions on the way to the snake, the snake scorpion lady, are gonna start disappearing soon because I keep using that boss as my ticket back to humanity and uh, slightly tedious to kill them each time. Okay, so jumping from here will not work. Apparently you can hold your fall with plunge attacks, but I suck with plunge attacks. Let's just run down and fall like this. Yep. Let's see what's so valuable that I should have wasted my time on this. A trap, some crates. What the fuck are you? Oh, just one of those people. Screw off. I will not allow you to kill me right now, you Mr. Headless person. Yes, yes, yes. Also, apparently you can drain the poison from the last boss, the second to last boss, the Medusa lady, by igniting a windmill somewhere where I was before, which is just more of this random stuff that you can do with fire in this game that I never even think about because it's just so implausible that something like that would work have a crossbow plus three well that's better than have a crossbow plus zero that I have right now so I guess this wasn't a total waste of time but it was a bit of a waste of time Let's go back to... What? How did I... And also, yeah, the poison was totally going up for no reason there. Epic had said that it's like super obvious why it does that, but I just cannot see anything obvious about it. I'm gonna ask him when I finish this update how exactly the poison keeps going up for no reason. And how is it so super obvious? Holy crap, I almost died there. <laughs> hey! Because as far as I'm concerned, it's completely random so far. At one time I blew up that little thing, but that was one time. Alright, so next time I'm gonna start on the bridge, maybe try to kill a couple people. But for now, thank you for watching, thank you for enduring my incompetence. Just the screaming, raging incompetence of today, I don't know why, maybe I'll try to squeeze in another recording session today and be a bit better that time but for now see you next time on let's play dark souls 2 with android and goodbye